you're going to have to again choose to decide if you want to palpate this. Okay, it's it's helpful on the right person to palpate both situations, but Jenny, you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to come to the ischial tuberosity. We're going to come to the flat part of the ischial tuberosity that you sit on. And uh, I'm going to tell her I'm just going to come around from this bone, right around the corner of this bone, and I'm just going to feel a ligament. And as we come right around the medial corner, you're right on the sacral tuberous ligament. Okay, and there's also uh, the ischial bursa is right there. And they have a different feel. The bursa feels kind of a slick, it can be tender if it's swollen, and uh, but the ligament has a feel like a ligament. And so what we're going to do is sometimes if this um, is going to be taut with nutation or anterior base, anterior torsion of the base. So if this is held in counter nutation, what you feel is when you come in here, is you don't feel any tautness of the ligament, and. Yeah, that's different, side to side. Jen can feel it. So this sacred tuberous ligament is not functioning in terms of load transfer. So this is her weak SI, so it's part of her <coughs> loss of load transfer. So we should be able to tighten it up by pushing here and feel it come in. Yeah, yeah there's, it. there's your lesion right there, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are two ligaments. So we're looking for pain right here. So again, we can provoke pain by doing this, but we're looking for pain in here if we're doing it, okay, if you don't want to palpate it. Now the posterior coccygeus muscle, if we come from the sacral tuberous ligament and we come right medial, there it is right there, that's a little painful, huh, Jen? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the only reason this is really good is this has a huge trigger points in the butt grippers and the instability patients <laughs> and the urinary incontinence females. You know, the weak pelvic floor. There it goes. And so we're just putting a little pressure on it. And I might as well go one step further since I'm here. Lay on your back. And, yep. So when we look at posterior coccygeus, so what posterior coccygeus is, it draws the ischial tubes together. So it compresses the lower, the anterior, the, the, the long arm. Okay, it compresses the long arm, holds the pelvis and posterior rotation, and essentially what it does is it puts stress by opening. So we have a weak anterior pelvic floor, tight posterior pelvic floor, and we put stress on the symphysis pubis because we're doing this all the time. Okay, you've seen those, those butt mm -hmm. grippers. Okay, <coughs> and so when you constantly butt grip, since the ischial tubes come together, if you want to help release this, what we're going to come is we're going to come in the same position get on the inside there and now what I'm, I'm going to put a little pressure inhibition it's still a little sore huh uh -huh. and what we want just relax what we want to do is as we put pressure inhibition I'm going to pull towards me so I'm going to widen the ischial tuberosity and I'm going to have her help relax to let it go there you go she's such a good athlete she's got a good memory so she knows, see, that's just pure motor strategy, right, Jen? Can you tell that's part of what you do to stabilize? Okay. okay. And so she's been trying to stable. There you go. Good job. She's been trying to stabilize with this, but in essence, it's creating a more um, displacement. It's compressing the anterior posterior arm, so which increases load on the vertical arm. And the vertical arm instability is much worse than the anterior posterior instability because the vertical arm means every time you land on that leg, you're sheer, 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 sheer. So our motor strategy is inappropriate to control this. So we would want that down ramped and we want to up ramp a little bit of some of the other um, uh, sling muscles. Okay, so you don't like butt grippers, but again, we talked about, you know, maybe you don't want to palpate these things, um, you know, uh, if you're dealing with lots of instability.